Hola guys and girls and welcome to a new Keyforge Man's Mutation gameplay video and this time we are gonna look at the deck Wolfram der Komische Baba which in English would be uh, Wolfram the Funny Barbarian in, yeah, that would probably be the English name and uh, yeah, this is one of my three so far from my first display top three decks it is definitely the weakest out of the three uh, but it's the most fun to play I think and the reason it's most fun to play is because of this whopping 26 speed. This is due to combination to the auto deck, to the uh, double Dark Booten, to double double Cronus with the daughter, with the Zenzi, with the Heiden Velum, lots of draw symbols in there. You draw through your deck at an insane pace, you get to archive a lot and uh, yeah, have some fun that way. But big weakness of the deck for sure, I want to say, is the Ember Control. Because, but the only real Ember Control is you have if your opponent starts taking Ember is your commandeer playing like lots of uh, sanctum cards which usually you can at least do once in a game because you just archive all your sanctum cards and then when you need your big commandeer turn just play it out and boom you've got all the stuff going for you uh and extra symbol wise we got a chronos we got a draw symbol which is pretty nice since you get to archive right away since he's already on the field daughter has a draw symbol as well cleansing wave has a capture icon the commandeer has a draw icon the honorable claim has a draw icon New Frontiers, I think, has a draw icon too. Scout Pete draw. Subject Kirby is capture, I think. I think it's capture. And Z Particle Track has capture as well. So these are like the draw and captures all we have. Oh wait, we have one damage. Maybe the Kirby's the one with the one damage. I think that's it might be on damage. Like I said, the most uh, most notable are the draw on Kronos and the draw on Commodia, which is nice because you can draw an extra second card out of that. Yeah, but other than that, that's basically the thing. We do have the Z-Force Agent as well with the triple uh, nice uh, yeah upgrades we have here. The only other upgrade we have is the Shoulder Armor. But uh, yeah, two times the same Mutant, two times the Techno Alien, which is pretty nice for speed as well. And yeah, basically that's that's the whole thing about. You can you draw a lot, you get insanely impactful turns, but yeah, if the opponent starts to get Ember too much, uh, it gets troublesome. I do have a lot of creatures as well, like 18 creatures is a lot. Uh, but I don't really have like board control very much. Like as you can see, it's only 5.2 there with like some damage stuff. Uh, the Fangs of Gilad is most of the thing we we get to play a, a, a lot in the game. To be fair, since we're drawing so fast, but we don't have any board wipe or something like that. So yeah, it gets troublesome if the opponent develops a huge board and starts just sweeping away. That's where this deck will struggle. But uh, yeah, that's enough of the deck tech. Let's hop into competitive games and use this deck. As you can see as well, I did play 10 games with any one of these, and as you see, this only has a 40% win rate. This is like 90, this is like 60, like the two uh, others I used before. These are some other decks I'm trying out currently, but yeah, 40% win rate after 10 games in competitive, of course, not too impressive. That's like I said, this it falls a bit short on the uh, Ember Control side of things, but uh, yeah, let's hop into this game and see how we can perform in this video. Good luck and fun to my opponent. Let's start the game. Quick look at the opponent's deck, and uh, yeah, some fun stuff. I see multiple QMAX. None of them are enhanced though. And uh, yeah, looking at this end, that's definitely a keeper. I want to keep that. Because what we can do, we can start up, off with uh, Star Lines, play the Kirby, put some damage on him, and play the Daughter as well to draw an additional card. And uh, yeah, sadly, no other Star Lines card. I mean, we won't be able to play it either way. But now we have two creatures on board already. We will most likely call Logos next turn. We can reap the daughter, play, get some other stuff on the field, and we do have a, let's give a draw icon. Okay, so that's a pretty cool enhancement, obviously, since uh, yeah, he just gets to do that, and he has a damage icon, so goodbye Kirby, which is, to be honest, not too big of a deal, since uh, mind fires are ah, out of act. Like this is one of the other uh, artifact, uh, Ember control things we have, and opponent starts with a six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six, six card this hand. <laughs> okay, I definitely would have kept that as well, uh, but yeah, that makes the opposition research actually rather strong, which I'm fine with. Um, let's first play our stuff. We can play and then Diametric Discharge because we don't want uh, something perched. Uh, yeah, I don't really want a Creeper gone. Uh, let's just get rid of you. What did he perch? Our Z Ray Blaster. Sad, sad. I, I would have had him purging this. But yeah, let's reap again. End the turn. Draw our hand again. And uh, yeah, we do have some uh, Sanctum stuff as well. We do have now the Fangs of Vila, which allows us to purge the Sinter potentially. Oh, no, it's a demon. But purge the, the Lactophyte, which doesn't trigger the effect, which is pretty nice. At each tree, do you want damage to each Fang creature? Okay, uh, this uh, artifact I didn't see a lot. Vandalize is, of course, always annoying. Can get rid of an important card for our deck. Which, in this deck, I would say Commandeer. <laughs> if you get rid of Commandeer, that's annoying. Uh, Zipper to Gregor. Okay, that's, I do not mind too much. Uh, lights out, bounces my stuff. 
and we start with an empty board. Yeah, opponent definitely rushing ahead, again a lot of Ember having a big board. And uh, yeah, kills the Rentis Creeper there with that. And like already mentioned, I am gonna go with Sanctum. First I'm gonna purge you, so you go get the steel. And let's see, he gets the shoulder it. Let's put this uh, to the... Wait, I, I, want it, I want it here, so that's for me it would be the right, right? Never mind, it's the wrong way around, okay. So that didn't work out, but I can still, I can just purge it right away, which is pretty nice. And then play you, and then play you, and we catch up at least a little bit on the board. But of course still still behind, I mean we are say, uh, equal with Ember, but yeah, opponent of course has his turn right now. We'll see how we can do. A bit sad he discarded the auto vac, like, so early. Would have thought to play that guy, get to, get, get to some archiving. Uh, Positron ball to deal some damages. Which is nice because otherwise uh, the armor of course would prevent the Pincerator from doing damage. Now the Pincerator will actually hit us. So this is at the end of the turn, yeah, it's the end of the turn. And the Archive Solid Securities, they get damage on themselves, and I think we go with mm, go with Logos Hope to draw something. I do have a lot of Logos cards left here, but I think going with Starline is a bit better because what I can do is I can play the survey first. Look at the top two cards, New Frontiers and Cleansing Wave. We discard the Cleansing Wave, uh, because then we can... Scout Pete has a draw symbol, so once we do that, we do draw our Frontiers, which is pretty nice. Uh, oh yeah, what do we discard? Let's see... Now we know... Uh, we will draw first the Frontiers before the effect triggers, so let's discard the Shoulder Armor. So we... because we... Or do we want to draw... Sh shoulder Armor drawing is actually fine, so let's keep it like this. Uh, then let's play the Z wave meter. What do, who do we want to protect? Let's just try to protect him. And yeah, let's call you. We draw the shoulder armor, which is fine. And let's see, what do we have the most in deck? I think it's Logos. Yeah, for sure, Logos. Uh, so let's try to archive some Logos stuff. And we do hit nothing! We do hit nothing! That's pretty sad. No Logos cards in the top three cards. We get rid of Exit Light, Cleansing Wave, and Techno Alien. And uh, yeah, we get our turn there. Uh, we are check. Upon obviously gets his key now as well. We didn't have any Ember Control in the hand either way, so like we mentioned, kind of the weakness of the deck. And uh, yeah, not looking to a great start, definitely not a, an awesome start. It's, a, it's not, a, not a terrible one, but it's not, not, not great as well. Uh, standard testing, wipes the board, so great draw for opponent there, like we had the board set up with like four, four power creatures and one six power. Makes it there, but at least we get a key as well, which is cool. And yeah, we just go with Logos here, because obviously we do have the Zenzi, we do have two other creatures which can play to the left and the right, which allows us to now draw three additional cards to the Zenzi plus daughter, which should give us a pretty big hand, which as we can see it does indeed. And yeah, looking great, we do have the Commandeer now with a bunch of uh, Sanctum, which like I mentioned is kind of what we <laughs> what we want with this deck. Uh, most likely gonna call Logos next turn again, since we can just uh, yeah, play some stuff, reap a little bit, and then uh, then get the archive going with Cronus and stuff like that. Implosion kills my Zenzi, makes sense. Once I get rid of his Creeper, ready his Nerat to reap. Just to reap? Okay, just to reap. I'm fine with that. Oh, no. Did he fight the daughter? Oh, wait, daughter died to Will Pincerator because of end of each turn, yeah? End of each turn. Okay, I see. I see you, I see you, I see you. Uh, I think I still want to go with Logos because opponent doesn't have that much to capture yet. Play the Cronus. Uh, yes, we want to trigger Cronus, and who do we want to archive? We do draw another Cronus, which is, uh, I mean, the other way around would obviously better, because then we could have archived two, but still pretty fine there. And let's archive you, because we're most likely going to call Sanctum next turn. We do have another Cronus, we do have another Dr. Bowden. Then we can reap a few and play the top card, which is, oh, Subject Kirby, which is cool, because that means we can play a creature. Um, I could play you and fight, which actually could be worth it. Would it be worth it? Could fight it uh, with uh, Dark Boons I want to keep. Hmm, you would die. I could fight with one Cronus, because I'm, oh, I am do have double uh, draw icons here, so I probably want to keep my Cronus alive. Uh, I don't really need Kirby, to be honest. Hmm, we'll just play the Z a lot. No, playing Z a lot and not being able to use him is kind of bad. Let's fight with this m one in the Dark Wooden in the middle. Deploy left of you. Fight with you. So Titan Engineer, he just called this, so it's unlikely he doesn't want to call it again. But I do want to get rid of Snarat, because that guy gets annoying. So yeah, let's let's kill the Snarat and enter turn there. We do get the the the, the double trouble in Hyde and Velum, which is nice. 
obviously it's, usually it's cooler to have one on the board be able to play them at least get to get the ability out of one of them but uh, yeah the hand looking decent we can archive potentially a lot with our double draw symbols and double chronos on board that we need to get to archive four cards draw two archive four but first let's see how much ember opponent generates because if he doesn't generate too too much I'm fine with just going with logos again uh, we got discarded. Our claim is gone, sadly. And I think we can go for... We do have one more Sanctum card here. I think it's more worth it to go for Logos here. Just get Hide and Velum on the board. Uh, no, we don't need Archive. And then Reap away. Uh, left as well. So we... If we play Zealot, we can purge Yui, so that, that's fine. Okay, we got nice. We got the creature. So we put that there. And the reap again, and the reap again for Ember. And we draw a lot more uh, Sanctum, which is nice. The uh, effects of the Giza could now be annoying. I mean, I don't have really strong just my strongest are for power. But depending on what opponent puts on the board, I might have to purge my own creatures just to trigger the effect. Which, of course, usually you do not want. Not, not recommended purging your own creatures. But we will see. Maybe we have to do it because, like I said, uh, yeah, Ember control kind of a problem for the deck. But currently we are, we are doing a decent job of keeping up the opponent. Definitely have the board advantage. Uh, what does happen in Logos? Does he have like a board wipe in Logos, which I'm be scared about? Mm, standardized testing would kill now you and... Not much of that, my four power creatures, yeah. Not too worried about that. Can shoot to damage, probably to Venom. Oh no, Grey Rider, okay. Opponent is at check right now. We sadly cannot prevent that. I mean, we could Dark Wooten and hope to draw something which helps us, but yeah, it's, I think it's time to go for Sanctum. It's time to go for Sanctum. Let's first play the... Uh, no, we don't need Archives. Let's first play the Commandeer. And Archive you and Archive you. And he can play you. Uh, now someone gets Capture. Let's put it on you. Then since he doesn't, get, he has nothing to fight. I can reap with you. That means I can reap with you as well. And that I can, yeah, I can. And there's no target to fight. So shoulder armor. Mm, I could buff something on the edge to purge that. Let's play first. Play against the Gieselhard. We capture on you. We purge you. Because I don't really need you too, 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 too much. And then let's play you to capture on you. And then who do we purge? I guess the Techno Alien. Yeah, I think Techno Alien is the one we, which has to go here. Then we can play the Shoulder Armor on... We capture on you and play the Shoulder Armor on you, and then we are 10 Ember. And yeah, end our turn there. Ah, sadly, do draw a lot of uh, Star Lines. So that would have made me want to keep my uh, my Star Lines creatures there. So he does have a... Oh wait, the Red Penny already happened. But let's see what happens here. Mm, his stuff gets most likely... Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Warded next turn, since I... I'm very likely to flush. I'm at 7 ember. I mean, fear I've got just gone on, on the Bruno. Lucky dice, prevent some damage, which I don't really know okay, if that's really because they, they are now boarded either way. So I don't think that was a perfect use of the of the lucky dice there. But I'm free to just call Logos. And yes, I want to archive back because the Obsidian Research is actually looking pretty nice with my opponent right now. This is to have the. Okay, that's the arc. That's the draw one. Okay. So let's reap a few. To, Draw first, see what we get. Okay, then we have Doc Booten. Oh, I should have played Zenzi first, but not, not, not like it really matters. And then we reap again. What do we get to play? Oh, on a reclaim. Okay, nice. So we get to archive again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, want to archive? We will play Starline soon, so let's archive you and then trigger you to archive. Oh, you. I want all these extra Ember cards. Uh, Kirby is a bit nicer than... Uh, let's just archive Kirby for now. And that's another reap, and that's another reap. And then I can trigger you to at least get the double ember. I know I can't do damage. I don't really know what... Does what effect this now? Yeah, they don't... Because of lucky dice, but I still get the two ember. So I take it because now I'm at eight. Check for my last key. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm like... I drew one, one time through my deck already and I'm back down to nine cards again. Uh, yeah, this deck is very fast, and yeah, thankfully we do can generate Ember at a, a fine pace if we ha can keep the board, obviously, since 
as you can see, it's like a big board. Opponent, can he prevent that? One will go on the Snarad, so that's the thing. Snarad will be taking one Ember. But that's not enough. He still needs uh, two more to go. Okay, he can kill the Barrel, which will lo make me lose one. But... Uh, Etrin destroyed... Ooh, okay. Does he have mutants? I mean, he can't kill these. I mean, he, yeah, he can kill them. And then he can use the Brabble to just run into something to die. Which would make me lose another one. And then uh, Snorite will capture one. Oh wait, but he chose Snorite. Why did he choose Snorite? He could have used the Brabble to just run. Or maybe he has something. I use Mutagenic Serum to use the mutants here. I mean, they won't die. They are all warded. So they won't, like... Nothing will happen with their, uh, like, with the thing we just did with, like, Mutant's Gain. Uh, what's, what's called again? GG. I mean, he could have he prevented that. He couldn't have prevented that. He could just have to use the Brabble. But, okay. Uh, misplays from opponent there, but, yeah, like I mentioned, I, I was still pretty ahead. I had, like, lots of... I could have gained one, two, three, four Ember at least next turn. But, yeah, let's leave this one and go for one more. But, yeah, that's definitely... That's how you want the deck to perform. Uh, getting like being very fast, g generating Ember at a pretty good pace, drawing a lot, archiving a lot. And yeah, opponent could not keep up, thankfully. Um, that's a keeper for sure as well. Uh, I think. Mm, yeah, let's keep that. I actually like that. Start with like th these three Logos cards here. Getting out of deck on the field uh, early is always nice. So let's play Logos, play the out of deck, get uh, you Vellum. Okay, Vellum is the weaker one. And turn. I think this enhancement. Uh, let's see. Did we? Did I play him already? I think I played him before. This little creeper has a draw symbol. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember. I played this deck before. Not with this one. I played a different deck, but I faced him earlier today. Um, there's the pincerator. Wait, this is the same. No, it's a different deck, right? Is it the same deck as last time? It's just rematch. Did I not look at the name? God damn it! Might have been a rematch. I d I don't remember, honestly. Um. I want to go with Logos here because I get to archive a view as well. And Logos, uh, Starline, uh, Sanctum. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying names at this point. I'm just saying names at this point. Uh, shoulder armor on you. So you don't get damaged by the thing. Then you play you, we get to draw, and then we get to archive. And looks like we're gonna archive the Logos card. Since we have three Starlines in hand here. And the turn, they won't get damaged due to the armor. And Pizza Raid is actually pretty nice. We do have double cleansing wave. Which, if this keeps going with the damage on creatures, I'm actually a big fan of that. Because that means Cleansing Wave will net me a good amount of Ember. It looks like we are going with uh, Starlines next. Sadly, don't have we, we do have a creature to play with Kirby, which is the Zenzi. So we do get our Archive back next turn. Uh, fights versus Micronus. Which is fine. And that's it. So yeah, we go with Starlines. Yes, we want our Archive back. Uh, he will die next turn either way. In my turn. Uh, oh, he will die in my turn. That's actually pretty sad. Can I prevent that? Creature against plus three. I could, get, <laughs> I could actually give him power to try and prevent that. Mm. Is it worth it? Uh, who gets the damage? Uh, I suppose you. Is it worth it is the question. I will lose all the embers, since I will gain, like, the embers well here. But I think it's just it's just how it goes. I think I'm fine. Um, Purify... There's no... He has a mutant on his side. Could put all mutant as well. He's not a lot. I mean, they're both not awesome, but I think with Cleansing Wave I always like to say a lot, because I can get damage on him. So let's discard the Purify. Let's get the tracker going. Uh, on I will fight mostly with you. Yeah. Let's put it on you, and you get to capture. And then the additional power I want on my Zenzi, so he survives better. And that's sadly it. Yeah, he will die. I will lose three. But yeah, that's how the, the cookie crumbles. And we do have... I should have done the damage to him. I forgot I want to play Kensing Wave. I could have gotten one more Ember out of that if I get damage on him. Uh, but if I go with Sancta... Oh, that, that died there. 
quite a lot died there. Mm. I want to set up a great tenting wave. Problem is if I go with there a lot I can only f I, I won't I won't do any damage there. Like he dies to prevent his creatures. Fine with me. So I guess it's better to just go with Logos. Get the Gluten on the field. My opponent cannot reap. And then just archive the cleansing wave for now. With the auto vac. If you don't know auto vac, you may discard a card from your archive to increase yours by three or archive. And that right now I just decide to archive. Okay, we don't draw more sector, which is kind of I, I want to, like usually it's, uh, the uh, the cleansing waves last last uh, match it wasn't really shown very well, but they net me usually a good amount of ember since I, like it was, you saw that I ge generate rather big wards. Okay, I have to call uh, logos again. Which honestly, I'm not too like not what I wanted to call, but it's it's fine. It's not 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 terribly not terribly bad. Terribly bad. Uh, now we can you can kill them with the essence scale, steal one due to Johnny Longfingers. The good thing is if he dies, I will steal as well. He's quite good at flooding the board right now. He's gonna die. That means I steal one because it's e oh it's only friendly. Never mind me. So I have to call Logos. Uh, that means no, we don't want to archive, but I can play you. Play the daughter, and I can. I do draw another uh, thanks to Gieselhardt, and let's archive you for now. And you don't like I have a chance, a chance, uh, choice. I had to choose uh, uh, Sanctum there. But I should have a good amount of Sanctum creatures in my deck still, yeah. So we got new frontiers there for a lot. But yeah, opponent definitely being ahead right now. He has lots of mutants with the long fingers, that's kind of annoying. It's a creeper again. Thankfully, he's not a mutant. <laughs> but now my daughter will die. Essence scale to sacrifice. Snaret to read the Snaret. Yeah, opponent is getting pretty ahead. So, mm, how do you want to deal with this? Uh, yeah, I think just going Star Alliance get stuff on the board is the best is the way to go at this point. Uh, first, let's for no, we don't want archives back. First, who is not allowed to reap anymore? Uh, honestly, I think you should not be allowed to reap. Then let's put you on the board. Let's put you on the board. Let's put you on the board. And then let's play you first, so then we can look at the top for what happens with new frontiers. Left. So, I will draw the Fangs of Gieselhardt if I do that, which I think I'm fine with because Sanctum is seems what I will go next turn. So let's leave it on top of the deck, and then play this. We draw the Gieselhardt. Now we have actually the same amount of Logos and Sanctum, but since Sanctum is what I want to call soon, let's go with Sanctum. We do hit one. We do lose uh, Hyde, but we do get Champion Narfiel. And Dark Booten be as well, but I do get Champion Narfiel in the archives. We just at least something, we end our turn there. Opponent gets his key. Ah, there's a comedy. That'd be a bit, too t a bit too late. Because next turn is looking like a pretty big uh, Sanctum turn. Mm, he fights. Gets some damage. Uh, I like that. The more damage, the better. Ah, now he's at the bounce and stuff. That's some, that, are, that, are, that I am not a fan of. Newton Cut Purse. Red Penny. And Red Penny dies. Yeah, Red Penny, with it's, since it's steel stuff as well, yeah, it's annoying. Let's go Sanctum. Let's get our Archive back. If I kill him, he will steal one, but I don't have anything to steal, so I'm fine with that. Let's play you. Let's fight with you versus you. So, it's just weak, so we get some damage on him. Because now, uh, let's play the Commandeer, which I should have played the turn sooner, but it happens what happens. Um... Let's play one cleansing wave for four ember and make you capture and you capture because the cleansing wave had one capture icon. Then we can play another cleansing wave and make you capture. Then we can play the Anafiel to the right, make you capture again. Ah, I should have not played him. Ah, that sucks. But wait, I can still do this. Can I? No, not really. 
Should have played first defense of Gieselhardt because now I can't purge the I can only purge one of them. So let's play the Gieselhardt. Make you capture, purge you. But I can still play the Grey Rider to the right. Uh, make you fight you. And then make you capture. Discard the Fangs of Gieselhardt. And just end the turn there. At 9 Ember at least. But I like I said, it's all captured. So it's not it's gonna yeah, not I'm not gonna it's not gonna be staying away forever from the opponent. But at least we were able to wipe the board. Forge compiler, so everything gets water for my opponent. Double Q Max, which will die right away. Did one Q Max had a no they didn't have icons. They did not have icons. I think yeah, this is definitely a rematch. This, uh, I, I, I'm sorry for not being attentive enough, but uh, I'd, we definitely faced him before. <laughs> so yeah, at least we are like, so we can see, we can see if that was a fluke or if we can maybe do it again. Positron bolts. Ah, uh, that means Anafield dies too, and so he gets two Ember out of that. Thanks for these, like this is a nice comp. I mean, the mutant thing is, the mutant guy is gone. So that's at least something. And that's that, and yeah, I guess we forge for sure now. Nothing gets there. Uh, and we want star lines, right? Oh, this logos I could do. I have to do the damage to a creature, so I would have to choose my own. So yeah, I think star lines for now is better. First, let's reap and see what we can get. Cleansing wave. Cleansing wave is, is nice versus the deck, but currently there's not the board for that. So let's get rid of cleansing wave, and then just play our stuff. Try to develop a board. End the turn. And now we have Kronos with another Kronos with draw icon, which we can double actually with Fusion uh, Fission Bloom. So we get to can potentially archive uh, four cards, <laughs> depending on how things go. F make that five together with the Auto Vac. But yeah, there's potential. There is potential. Okay, uh, he had his own Diametric Discharge, which kills our stuff. Hmm. Did you just use the Moist Scroll? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, we, we have nothing to prevent this key. What we can do, though, is go for Logos. And we can uh, increase the key cost by 3, which we will definitely do. But first, let's play one of the Crony. Crony boys. Let's trigger you. Then play additional Crony, so we get to draw two cards. And we want to archive our Sanctum. There we go. Mm. So I want to, since I want to lose one due to auto vac, I'm thinking I'm fine with lose, making you go away. Then we can archive you. Then we can play the dog Booten as well. And once again, the, the opponent doesn't have a creature. Uh, do I want the Ember for damage on my creatures? I think yes. I think I do. Just put it on the flank, so not too much damage there. And then let's discard our opposition research and make him at least a very expensive key for him. Now Cleansing Wave would actually be awesome. <laughs> we do have two draw icons, so we have the potential to draw our Cleansing Wave. Because that's 5 Ember at the board right now. Which could mean win or lose in the current uh, state of the game. One goes with Shadows. Uh, no Archive though, okay. So it gets a damage icon probably on Dark Putin or the Kronos. Oh, he already did it. Red Penny. Steer 1. Vandalizes. Don't vandalize my... Cleansing wave. That would be sad. What did event? My shoulder armor. It's gone. Game geese, proof of to Fristry. And there we go. So, um, yeah, we go Sanctum. We want to have some some stuff going. Uh, yes, we do want archive. Let's first start with the comedy. We draw a card and we get to archive one. We do have a logo spot, let's archive these. Let me use the Alliance board as well. What is more likely to survive? More likely the Star Alliance board is to survive. So let's archive our logo stuff for now. Mm, then let's purge a mutant. We only have our own mutants, right? Yeah. To purge, but that means we could get something else on board. I think I want the Ember. Yeah, I need the Ember. Um, Kronos, we still have a draw icon with the Honorable Claimer, so let's purge Dark Booten. Oh damn, I 
I just commandeered him. But never mind. Which I could have commandeered on something else. Then we do have General Salvador to the right. And he can capture it himself. Then we got the Honorable Claim. We got to cap uh, the Archive again. Sadly, did not draw our Cleansing Wave. Would have preferred, obviously, that. But yeah, we are at check. But that was our Ember Control. So we have to be, we have to hope, like, we are close to drawing for our deck again, to be fair. But we have to hope that our opponent does not, uh, what you call it, uh, does not generate too much ember. Because that would be quite troublesome. That would indeed be quite troublesome, because I don't have, uh, on hand, I have zero ember control. Uh, I only have the auto vac, which could do stuff. So if he generates too much ember, we are in trouble. Implosion, okay. Who's gonna die? Probably uh, Zyvador, so he can, yeah. He wants he wants to get to check. He just he just basically listened to what I said, and he wants to get to check as quickly as possible. With the essence scale, he will at least be able to generate one ember, I assume. To just sack one and then reap with something else. Yeah, there we go, two creatures. Okay, he even gets to generate two, since he can kill this. Steal. Do that, yeah, that's GG. I mean, yeah, I, do, I do have the auto vac. I do have the auto vac. Uh, I do have the auto which I have to use right here. And yeah, more is not. That's like the only thing I can do right now. Try to stall a little bit. Uh, play you to the left. Then want to next to trigger the next icon twice. So we have the daughter, which we can use twice now. So which which do we want to get rid of? Um, I only will be able to play one creature, since I do want to trigger Zenzi. And I guess Dark Booten is better at this point than Hide. Or is it the, is it, yeah, the drawing one? The archiving one would probably be better. And then trigger you again. And then archive the Fangs of Gieselhardt. Play the Dark Booten. Reap a few. And then we do have to use this card to, I guess, get rid of the Fangs of Gieselhardt. And then we have to end the turn. Like I said, yeah, we didn't draw our comedy, so yeah, that's GG now. Buying our opponent uh, make, somehow loses Ember this turn. But it's unlikely. It is indeed unlikely. I mean, we could, to be fair, we could look at Logos again, hopefully, often enough, and maybe get stuff done this way. But it's unlikely. Yeah, he just killed a bunch of stuff, then he kills more stuff. Uh, and he's at 9 Ember, so yeah, it's, uh, even if I increase the cost by 3, it's not not going to be enough. These both are going to die. Yeah, this de his deck has a nice uh, synergy with the Pinserator for sure. So he has the Red Pennies, he has the Q-Max, he has the Lens Creepers. Uh, we can just at least forge a key and then go for one big Star Lines turn. Which I do not mind. Uh, no, we don't need Archive back. Play you on you. We can play you. We can play you deal one damage to you that means we can play two creatures which means we can play you and we can play you and we can play you and we can play you to see what lies on top two things of Gisel hearts and uh, then we can play you uh, to capture one and then we can play you to draw the things of Gisel heart and that's choose I don't know sanctum it seems have most yeah let's call sanctum we had two, which is pretty nice. They have to commandeer, but yeah, that's GG. Like I mentioned, uh, yeah, opponent got two fast in Ember, and like our own Ember control is really the commandeer, which I think this that second game for sure showed. But uh, yeah, that's where I am gonna end this video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, leave a like, come subscribe, you know the deal. Hit me on Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description, and I will see you another time. Ciao.